Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel, Eve Elements. Welcome, welcome, welcome all. Keep in mind these are general populated readings for the globe, okay? So these are collective readings, collective messages. In general. Okay? Like the book of personal reading, click on the Facebook icon located in the upper right hand corner of the channel. All other information found about me can be found in the description box below. All right. Welcome subscribers, non subscribers, new, old, returning people who watch me through the incognito tablet. A lot of people are going to drag your name through the mud. I tell you what, because this is a channel message, you're going to have a lot of people out there that don't like you for no reason no purpose other than to not like you because your light irritates their demons whether you know these people or not these could be people in the industry non-industry street people people who don't know you people who like to party and get high and do all of that toxic stuff all right you may have been someone who have done this a while back you cleaned up your act you got sober, you're not on drugs for some of you out there. You cleaned up your life. You um you started doing things for yourself. You started to be mindful that your body is your temple. Okay? You started to put your, your thoughts in high vibrations, you align your chakras. You're still doing the shadow work. You're not finished. You're still doing the shadow work. And this could be People you know, people you don't know. For you, for some of you out there, the people that you do know, they're going to be hating on you. Your relatives, your friends, you just get high with, smoke marijuana with, do narcotics with, drink with, chill with. You're like, listen, every day was a party and what have you. You're no longer doing that. You switched it up on them. So some of them feel like, oh, he or she think they better than us. No, you're bettering your life. If they choose to not better their life, that's on them. Every man is responsible for his own freaking destiny. That's just written in the stars, baby. You born alone, you die alone. So therefore, you ain't got to... I, I can never under the, understand the concept of uh, we are all connected. No, we're not. Who says so? No, we're not. Some, of, some people are not awakened. Some are. And those that are awakened, they're on different levels. Those that are not awakened, they're not on no level. They're ground zero, baby. You keep doing the shadow work and you doing you. And you got people that's going to drag your name through the mud. Remember wins, woulda, shoulda, couldas. This person ain't blah, blah, blah. Or they're going to think that you're faking the funk. That you really cleaned up yourself and you got sober. And you putting your life back in order. Keep listening to your spirit guides. Even if you don't believe they're spirit guides. And you believe it's a gut intuition. That's telling you. Straighten up and fly right. Walk a straight and narrow path. Get right with God. Get some act right. And you doing the do. I congratulate you. Because, no, seriously, I congratulate you. Because keep doing you. Don't pay any attention to the naysayers. They are on the sidelines for a reason. Make your haters your supporters too, baby. Keep doing what you're doing. Because a lot of people... They, they're going to count you out. They're going to discount you. They're going to drag your name through the mud. They're going to say, they're going to pretty much think or try or maybe think they're analyzing you, picking you apart piece by piece, um, finding anything negative from your head to your toes to say about you. If you got children, God forbid, they're going to try to say you're a bad parent. <laughs> you, you mismanage your money. Um, you don't, you, you can't keep stable housing or, oh, this person, they're going to bring up your past, especially if you was like homeless and you needed assistance. I, I helped that person in the past. They, they ain't had shit. So now all of that acting like they better than me type of energy. <laughs> keep no response. Okay. Do like Beyonce be doing when people be saying stuff. No response. I ain't got to respond to you. Cause you stand in your truth. You know what the truth is. You know what I'm saying? Let 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 the haters keep lurking and talking. And for the ones that's being gang stalked, 
let them keep gang stalking you because eventually you know what when you do take action federally against these people they ain't gonna be gang stalking you from jail maybe i don't know but they need to be sat down by jesus okay handle them accord handle gang stalkers accordingly handle gang stalkers i don't care if they celebrities you handle them accordingly. I'm going to put that out there. Okay, you handle your gang stalkers. Related to, not related to, celebrities, non-celebrities. You handle them accordingly. Okay, because you got some haters out there. Like, literally. People that want to drag your name through the mud for no apparent reason other than envy. I don't know if you can see that. Other than envy. Other than envy. They very envious. They talk about you. Again, people talk about you. They snort stuff up their nose. Okay. They ain't even married. Okay. They out here wild in these streets. You keep yourself guarded though. Because these people are full of hate, not love. Okay. Full of hate, not love. They don't even love themselves. Some going to come back with a fake apology. Not necessary. Not even necessary. Some of you already forgave some of the people that you know that did backstab you. They still dragging your name through the mud. These people, didn't I tell you? They on drugs, doing drugs. Those are the people who's talking about you, but yet, won't come back. Oh, can you forgive me? Child, with that fake apology, you go somewhere on there and bye. <laughs> like, bye. Boy, bye. Girl, bye. Felicia, bye. Look, I'm telling you. Social media stalking. You got some of you got a serial stalker on your hands. I kid you not. Look, see, my hands too bad. Serial stalker. Lord have mercy. And they serial stalk you. Look through tarot readings too. You could be a tarot reader, and this person constantly stalks you. And I guarantee you, this serial stalker, they're not commenting. They're not thumbs up in your videos. They're not doing none of that. They also get tarot card readings on you from a reader that got blonde hair or either she dark skin. This person is serial stalking you through spirit. They serial stalking you online. Child look. They about to get, they about to go to jail. They about to go to jail. They're stalking you because you in self-love energy. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. It's just stalking you. So you can see what else they could talk about. They need to talk about their self-love. And how they can get some. Holy Spirit. What do we have for the collective here? People serial stalking you and talking about you. I'm dragging ain't through the mud. You will be in self love, self care energy. You worried about your number one star player. You ain't worried, and it's always the ones that's not worried about people. That there's outside people worried about them. Minding a business. You want to mind somebody business real right? Get your mind right and get your life right. Go get some act right. Go get that self love, self care regimen going for yourself. Go use some vitamin C on your skin. Go do your hair, your nails, your mani, your petty, whatever you need to be doing to take care of you. Go take care of your children. Stop worrying about others. Some of them got infant babies sitting in the background. Some of them just gave birth a couple months back in 2022, and they're over here watching you. For what reason? Holy Spirit, what we got for the collective here? It's game over for them. Game over for them watching you, stalking you, harassing you, bothering you with a crabs in the buckets mentality. Because you think outside the box. Okay? Period. They're very envious of you. One more. Whoever they are or person is, they do the most. Okay. For some of you out there, 
You don't do what they do. For example, if they have to prostitute to pay their bills, to pay their rent, to pay their lights, you don't do that. Your blessings come with abundance because you walk a right path. You understand me? You feel me? No judge on nobody's part. No judge. It's just, I call what I see. It is what it is. Okay? But they're sitting back and they're judging you. Some of them, they on drugs and got to put themselves on drugs in order to put themselves out in the street to sleep with strangers for cash to pay they, um, they bills, they car note, they rent, they like men and women alike. They got to sell their bodies that they know they don't, they feel, they themselves feel like trash. Okay. So they stalk you and make assumptions about your life. Because they wish they had your life. Some of them, if they're exes of yours, wish they were still with you because they had it good when they was with you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about it. We got game over. Outdated reverse. Outdated is expired, disused, old news discarded all right someone doesn't feel like it's over yet all right they're in the energy of sex shop they open like a 7-eleven 24 7 baby okay <laughs> my cards flew like right the freak over yeah they pissed off they open like the 7-eleven 24 7 and i said what i said they're very envious of you. And this person, they ride the white horse daily. All right? They be putting stuff up their nose daily. It's probably how they look after a while. I'm just... I'm just saying. Okay? And some of you, this could be an ex of yours that's out in the street selling their behinds for cash. They high on drugs while they doing it. It's about to be over for them. If they gang stalking you or something, the cops could be involved. The cops could be involved, period, with this sex shop up here. Guys, what's going on with this energy here? Holy shit. Get into it because this is ridiculous. This person get high and probably watch you online. This serial stalker that's stalking you. <laughs> King of Swords. Page of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Swords, heavy air sign. Could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, ooh. Yeah, this person is mad because you don't do what they do. With this sex shop. And this Envy. I heard this person trying to act like they're not envious of you, but they are. This person's a nightmare. Let me see this. Yeah, they be looking a hot mess. Somebody could have blonde hair. They be looking a hot mess or wear blonde wigs. Now, look, let me tell you something. <laughs> Listen here, Linda. Whew. This person here. King of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Reverse. This person's money is blocked. Or they could be trying to strategize how to block your money. If you're in that King of Swords energy here, that's Capricorn Aquarius energy here. What is this? Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. 
someone's already in a connection, but they sneak out of this connection and they give look now. There's a connection here with the two of cups. This is partnerships. This is a partnership here, but we got the seven of swords right next to it. Then we have the page of pentacles reverse, Taurus energy, Capricorn, Aquarius energy with the king of swords, Taurus energy with the page of pentacles reverse, someone in their 20s and this someone in their 30s, 40s. There's a partnership here that someone sneaks outside the partnership here. They could be paying prostitutes for sex. Someone's in a partnership here that their partner who actually sells their body is envious of you. They both get high. They both get high. What else? Knight of Cups here. Ten of Pentacles. You could be in the Ten of Pentacles energy here. Whoever you are, collective. Lovers reverse. Someone's going to try to offer you a lump sum of money. Along with a love offer here. This is someone that you're not connected to or with. They're in a connection. But they're going to sneak outside this connection to try to come towards you. <laughs> Someone is in their head, four swords reversed here. They're in their head about a partnership here that they want to sneak away from to come and offer you a love offer. <laughs> they want to give you a lot of money. They want to give you love. Some of you, this is an ex of yours who has heavy Gemini placements. But I feel like even with this love offer coming in with this ten of pentacles here, You have a family with this person for some of you out there. This person is in the head of, of the breakup that y'all had in the recent past or in the past here. You are not attracted to this individual here. This person could not be attracted to the partner that they're currently with. So that's why they're coming towards you. With the moon reverse, all secrets will be revealed. Okay. This person is going to make the emotions known to you. They're going to make this offer known to you. Okay, what's going on in this collective thing? What is going on here? This person has a lot of emotions here. Someone could have a moon in Pisces. Moon in Cancer. You'd be dealing with a Cancer. Hold on, what? This one came out for... Wow, two came out. Okay, so we have the Temperance. The title card and justice. Okay, so what I'm getting here, ten of, there's an ending here, ten of swords. There's an ending to building something here that someone was trying. Someone's trying to hold on to like a, a foundation or something. Death reverse. Someone refuses to change here when it comes to dealing with third parties, probably. Or when it comes to building with someone here. But that's coming to a close. That cycle is closing out. It's coming to a close here. Because someone's very manipulative. They, they're very manipulative here. But whoever this is. Whew, getting hot. Getting hot. Yeah, something's about to be revealed here. Whatever money is delayed here. There's a lot of money that this person is trying to come and give to you here. You'll be dealing with a Sagittarius as well. 
this person is trying to strategize how to break away from whoever they're with to come bring you justice. Okay, their their form of justice is giving you a large amount of money. So for some of you, I feel like this is an ex of yours here. Okay, with the game over, they don't want to deal with the person that they're with. That's blatantly a nightmare. This person is nightmarish. They don't want to deal. So they basically trying to strategize how to get out of this connection, how to get out of this commitment, and how to come to you. It's like somebody trying to slowly sneak away, break up with someone without someone actually knowing that they broke, <laughs> that they partner broke up with them. It's like, it's given that type of energy. So regarding a partnership, this could be a Libra too, if someone got heavy Libra placements, so regarding a partnership, someone's in their head about bringing balance to a situation here. Temperance is all about balance and so is justice and they're both here and it's about to be revealed to you that this person wants to give you the title. They want to make you the main man or main woman in their life, whoever this is, and they want to put an end to building anything with the other person that they're in partnership with. It could be a Scorpio that they with. I see you as a high priestess. You good. <laughs> you golden, baby. You got with it. Okay. Show me what I need to see with this. What is this nightmare envy and sex shop? What is this? Because it's giving me like someone, someone's jealous of someone who's a prostitute when that's impossible. Nobody would be jealous of no prostitute. So this could be in this person's mind. They may feel like I'm too beautiful for anybody to, to just throw me away. I'm whatever, whatever. 2208 on the clock. Yeah, someone is trying to sneak away from the partnership. I don't care what you say. Like, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Like, what the hell? It's like this King of Swords is saving money, putting money away, not giving money to the other person here, and trying strategically keeping money from this uh, person that they're with here because they want to offer a cup of love. To someone that they had a family with in the past that they're no longer with. But this is a karmic connection. They're in their head about this. It's it's going to be revealed. What do I need to see with this? Yeah, because it says game over. Nightmare, envy, sex, shock. Outdated, reverse, and game over. Yeah, they want to end this connection with whoever that person is. That's a freaking nightmare here. Seven of Pentacles. They don't want to work on anything. It's reverse. Seven of Pentacles, reverse. They don't want to work on that partnership here. Seven, seven is a warning for this person. Seven, seven is a warning. They're dealing with karma. So whoever they with right now, that's a, I hate to say a crackhead or a cokehead. That person is part of this person's karma. King of Swords. Hey, you chose to be with a prostitute. It switched up your karma. And instead of you having good karma, you got bad karma. So this is a red light. No go, baby. Full reverse. Okay? Mm -mm. Ain't no new beginning. Well, whoever you're trying to go back to, because this look like an ex is trying to come back to somebody. The ex, somebody's ex is with a prostitute here. This is part of their karma. They don't want to be a part of this karma anymore. This bad luck, this bad juju with this uh, prostitute or street walker or someone who sells their behind. They may have a nine to five during the daytime, sell their butt at night, you know, to get bills paid or for their drug habits, whatever, whatever this is. So I feel like whoever someone's ex is with, their partner, they may have their little job or what have you, but they get drunk, they get high with Every time they can have and has sex for money. Yeah. And this commitment. They're not getting out of this karma that fast. <laughs> because they wanted to be a player. So they attra like attract like. Hello. The law of attraction. They, they attracted someone that's just like them. Just like them. Somebody's dealing with Aquarius. <laughs> that's a hoe. 
player, player. And the King of Swords is right on the board. Did it, counterpart, go? Yep, and they both in this energy of bad karma. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Nothing going good for neither one of them. Cars are breaking down. Hairs is falling out. Money being blocked. And they trying to, they think they can get out of, this King of Swords think they can get out of their karma. By justifying, come back to you, giving you a lump sum of money. That's not how the universe works. At all. At all. You're someone in the public eye. You got victory. You got valor. You have followers. You have patronizers. Okay. Your home is happy. <laughs> you have success, success and victory. Okay. You have a happy home here. You're content. Where you at? Minding your beeswax. And you have a commitment coming. All right? You have a commitment coming. Because you walked the straight and narrow. You chose your path. You, which is, of course, your destiny. I mean, if your angels are by your side like they're supposed to be. And you're supposed to listen to them when they tell you things. Whether it's that high-pitched ringing in your ear or... Or that gut instincts that you feel. Right down to a tummy growl where you think you hungry but you're really not. Okay. They telling you walk this way. Go that way. Don't go this way. You listen. Okay. You have a commitment coming in. If you're not already with your person, you about to be. If this person trying to leave who they with, this little crackhead of theirs, little kiki. All right. That they with. All right. No pun intended. Not saying anybody's name. Okay. I heard the Drake song in my head. Kiki, is you with me? Do you love me? La, 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 but beside me. You know what I'm saying? So, they they, they chose a Kiki over you. Kiki, to me, is a street runner. Okay? Those, you got your Beckys? White girls got their Beckys? Black girls got their Kikis? Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> they in a commitment, a connection with this person. They losing a lot money being around this person queen of pentacles reverse you yeah. queen of pentacles reverse they're losing a lot of money while you have a lot of opportunities success opportunities you got it all and amura is shining right on you okay you riding that white horse significant i ain't saying some illuminati shit but um <clears throat> like i see beyonce on that white horse Mm -hmm. Your soul is pure. That's why you always be blessed by Ra. Okay? This person wasn't for you. They had to get left out in the cold. And they trying to leave who they with out in the cold to come towards you. But it ain't going to happen. They stuck where they at. They stuck like Chuck. Your soulmate is this person coming in. Alright? You have a high level commitment coming in. Whoop, whoop, the whoop, the whoop. The whoop. There's marriage here. With the higher font and the ten of cups. Six of Cups, you you will be marrying your soulmate. Hold on, let me. I don't see Pentacles. Can't tell you when. I was gonna tell you when he's gonna marry your soulmate. <laughs> Either way, <laughs> I'll save that for the next video. Either way, this person stuck where they at. They trying to leave. They, it's like this person trying to leave bad karma behind. They don't understand the consequences of how the universe literally acts and dishes out karma. You can go to the ends of the world. You can go to Hades and your karma going to fly right with you because of the choices you make. This, this person cause, cause and effect consequences and repercussions. This person don't comprehend this. One more card in the mouth. They're losing money. This is why this person has to go sell they behind. They both could be doing it for a lot of And they want to come back to you because you sitting pretty. You sitting pretty. Your money straight. Your mind right. You walk on the right path. Look, they want to communicate with you. You have a child by them. You probably have a fire sign child by this person. Or your child has fire, very significant in their birth chart here. You know I'm nosy. Y'all keep going. I got to go, y'all. Mm-hmm. They're losing money. They have money blockages being around this person. That literally is a part of their karma because of their reckless behavior, childish Gambino. All right? And you know this already. So I'm going to close it out with the high priestess. 
deuces.